I have logged into my multi-site, my testingbox.com. So we're in the dashboard area of the primary site. So I will go to the network admin area here and sites. Here I can add various sites. I will add uh, some top level domains such as I've logged into Shark Hosting. I've logged into then the, the cPanel area. I'll go to my domains here. And under domains, I have a lot of different domains. Uh, I would call uh, various development sites I have done, done thing with. So here's my testing box. I can see that that is pointing. That is pointing to public HTML dev because it's a dev box a dev site mytestingbox.com so I will go back to domains and there are two top level domains I want to then um, point to the multi-site some in creation and some in production I will start by adding these to the multi-site and I'll come back here to the domains area and these will then point to the multi-site folder. So we'll go to network, add new, Sunwind creation, and Sunwind creation here. I will add my Hotmail email. And if I'd added another email that is not uh, located here in the main site, it will not show up here. So I will add the same email that I'm using for the main site, add site. So it should show up here and there we have it right here. I can go to, for instance, edit site. And I want to use this as a top level here. First, I'll show you where it shows up. I'll go to visit site and it shows up like this. It shows up as a, a subfolder under my testingbox.com but I want this to show up as its own domain so we're going back into domains I will need to change where this points I need to just point this to my testingbox.com which is the multi-site so update and return to, return to domains and here I will change this to sunrecreation.com save changes and when I visit the site now it should show up as its own domain so now we can see it shows up under sunrecreation.com so I will do an, an, another, go to sites, add new, Sunwin production, and this will then be Sunwin pro production. I will use my Hotmail email again, and add site. So here we'll see all the sites and here I can then visit some in production. Here we see it as, as uh, a, um, a folder, subfolder of my testingbox.com. So back into domains again. Some in production. We'll do a manage here and we'll point this then to my testing box which is the multi-site update and return to domains now we will go and edit summary in production dot com save changes and now I'll visit and we can see that points to somewhere in production.com. 
So let's since, let's say I want to add a, a forum or support or something like that. I will go to ad, uh, network admin sites, and I will just add a forum, and I will just call it uh, my testing box forums. Use my hotmail again, add site. And I will just visit the dashboard. I'll go to visit the site. And we see it as mytestingbox.com forums. So if I wanted to add other top level domains, I would just basically go into domain list here and just point the various domains into the multi site uh, public. Uh, where I have a dev and then my testingbox.com folder as I did with some of the creation and some in production. So we have it here, the various subsites, top level, and then the my testing box forums.